Again, welcome to CS101, Introduction to Programming Using Python. This lab work covers chapter two of our course textbook, which is Input, Processing, and Output Using Python Program. Again, we went through the lectures how to input a data into our program, either using the assignment operator or the input function. The processing, here we are going to consider only the arithmetic operations. And the output, we normally use the print function for now. So let's go through our two problems that we want to solve here. The first problem said a cooking recipe calls for the following ingredients. We have 1.5 cups of sugar, also one cup of butter, and 2.75 cups of flour. Now the recipe produces 48 cookies with this amount of the ingredients. Write a program that asks the user how many cookies he or she wants to make. Then display the amount of cups of each ingredient needed for the specified number of cookies. So first we need the variables to again store our data. Uh, here we need a variable for the number of cookies and the cup of sugar, butter, and flour. So our first variable name is cookies and we initialize it to 0, 0.0 so that we make sure there's no data in the variable, the memory. Next, we have a variable for the sugar, also butter and flour. So we also have a constant value here because we can see they gave us some amount here, 1.5 cups of sugar, one cup of butter, 2.75 cups of flour. So we have constant for the number of cookies, the cups of sugar, butter, and also the flour in the original recipe. So our first constant variable is cookies recipe, which is 48. According to the question, the recipe produces 48 cookies with this amount of ingredients. The first ing ingredient is sugar recipe, which is 1.5, butter recipe 1.0, and then flour recipe 2.75. So next, we are going to get our input based again on the user uh, options. So for example, how many cookies the user want to produce. So our first input will be get the number of cookies. So we have the input function and we are asking the programmer or the user to enter the number of cookies. Now, when we get the input, as we said earlier, the input function always the data type is string we convert it to float because we're going to use arithmetic operation. We store the number of cookies in the cookies variable. Now we can calculate the cups of sugar needed to make the cookies. Now we have, uh, based on the question, the number of cookies times the sugar recipe. Remember our sugar recipe is a constant value, which is 1.5. And based on the instruction, they said the cooking recipe calls for the following ingredients. So we need 1.5 cups of sugar, one cup of butter, 2.7 cups of flour to again produce a cookie. So here the user need to, let's say for example, user want to produce 10 cookies, then the, the number of sugar we will need will be 10 times the sugar recipe divided by the cookies recipe. Then we can also calculate, this would be to calculate the cups of sugar needed to make the cookies. Next, we can also calculate the cups of butter needed to make the cookies, which would be again, the number of cookies we want to make times the butter recipe divided by the cookies recipe. Now the cookies recipe also is given to us as a constant value here, which is 48. We say based on this number, again, 1.5 cups of sugar, one cup of butter, 2.7 cups of flour, recipe can produce 48 cookies. So which means if I need only 10 cookies, the amount will be less. So that's why we divide by 40. So if I have 10 times, let's say the butter recipe divided by 48, the amount will be less. Now, if I need 100 cookies, of course the amount will be more because what they gave us is to produce 48 cookies. So next, we can also calculate the cups of flowers we need to make the cookies. 
So again, the amount of cookies that we want to uh, produce times the flour recipe divided by the cookies recipe. Again, the flour recipe, the amount they give us, we can make 48 cookies. And 48 cookies is in the cookies recipe constant variable. So now we have done our calculation finish. We need to print the amount of butter, sugar, and flour needed to make the specified number of cookies that we enter. So now we are going to print the results. Now to get uh, to make, let's say for example, we, we enter 10 cookies. So to make 10 cookies, we will need the formula we find for the sugar. Here again, we want to use the format function to again have only two decimal places for the value. So 0.2f again means two decimal places using format function inside the print function. So here we're going to print the number of sugar, butter, and flowers. And that's what the question is asking next. Write a program that asks the user how many cookies he or she want to make. So that was our first input. Then we are going to display the number of cookies for each ingredient needed for the specified number of cookies. The ingredients are three given here. And the amount of these three ingredients, we can produce 48 cookies. So that's why when we need a sugar, the number of cookies times the sugar recipe, the amount needed divided by 48, because the amount of the sugar recipe they give us can produce 48 cookies. And the cookies recipe constant value have the 48. Again, we can see the 48 for cookie recipe. Sugar is 1.5, butter is 1.0, flour is 2.75. Now let's go to the second question. So in the second question, they say we should write a program that asks the user for the number of males and also a number of female registered in a class. The program should display the percentage of males and also females in the class. Now the hint given to us is that suppose there are eight males and also 12 females in the class, then we have 20 students together. So the percentage of males can be calculated as eight divided by 20, which will be 40% or 0. 0.4. Then the number of female will be 12 divided by 20. So this is kind of like using proportion formula. We have 20 students, 10 are female, so how many percentage we have? It will be 10 over 20, which will be 50%. So let's start with the question, the, the problem uh, solution. So first we have a, a comment saying that the variables for the number of male and female students, total number of students, and the percentage of male and female students. So those are the variables we need. So we have our first variable to store the male. Here we can see we are using int because we count the number of male and female cannot be a decimal value. Uh, any value based on counting is a whole number. So female, then the total students. Now we have a variable to hold the percent of male and also the percent of female. So the first thing we're going to do here is to get our input. So we ask the user to enter the number of male students we have using the input function again we enter the number of male students, convert it to int, store it in a male variable. Next, we get the number of female students. We use the input function again, enter the number of female students. We convert the result to int and we store it in a female. Next, they say we should calculate the total number of students. So we are going to add both the male and female student together. Now we can be able to calculate the percentage of both male and female. So the percent of male will be the number of male divided by total students. And the female percentage will be the number of female we have divided by the total students. Then next we are going to print our results. So print the percentage of male first. So we say the male will be rough again here. We have two decimal places again, and we have the percent. So whatever answer we have, based on the input the user enter for both male and female, uh, we can know the total. Because if user enter 20 for male, 
30 for female, then the total will be 20 plus 50, uh, 20 plus 30, which will be 50. Then the percent male will be 20 over 50. If 20 is male, the percent female will be 30 over 50. If the number of female is 30, then the result we get, we print there. So that will be the conclusion of this lab work. And again, see you in the next lab work. Thank you.